How's it going? Welcome to another Team of the Season card. We have our final uh, card from this set of Team of the Seasons. Uh, and it is the best card from the squad. Federico Valverde. And yeah, I mean, it looks like a brilliant card. Uh, you could argue the best box-to-box -box in the game at the moment. Uh, I guess you could also argue Hullet. Uh, but yeah, I mean, the card looks really good. Very meta. Uh, offers some really good links, of course, to the lovely Furlon Mendy and Raphael Varane. And... Yeah, I mean, it's a very expensive card. Now, I don't know how much supply is actually being uh, put out because I know a lot of people are saving their packs tomorrow for Prime Team of the Season. But, yeah, you don't usually get a huge supply with these high-end cards. Uh, so he is still maintaining quite a heavy price. Uh, he's around 800k on Xbox and then around 900k on PlayStation. So uh, we will get into these stats, of course. So the first thing I will start with is the pace. And... Uh, like I mentioned before when I used his base card, it is so unique for a pure midfielder to have uh, such pace. It is such a huge advantage, uh, not only on the attack, you know, he's uh, makes some really good runs through the center and, you know, is able to exploit uh, space in behind the defensive line, but it's really noticeable uh, when, you know, defending with him, his recovery speed, uh, tracking back is really quick, but also closing down the attacks, uh, you know, it makes it really hard for the attack. Uh, for the opponent's attack to really do much and uh, yeah the pace is just it's very noticeable he's got that 90 acceleration and 97 sprint speed uh, going forward you know his uh, attacking abilities the shooting uh, he's got the 91 shot power 92 long shots and you know the shot power is the most important stat there it definitely allows him to score uh, much more and we did use the gladiator which boosts the shooting and defending which i personally think is the best uh, chemistry style makes him the most well-rounded and with the chemistry style I thought he was a decent goal scorer definitely uh, added a bit of goal uh, output for me uh, 86 attack positioning again very noticeable he makes great runs uh, through the center almost offers himself as like a, a another striker so uh, I did like that about this card uh, the passing I mean these are some top tier stats 92 vision 98 short pass and 97 long pass uh, you know I was trying different passes with him over the top uh, you know, normal through balls and, you know, the precision and accuracy is uh, that of the best playmakers in the game. So very good creator uh, and would definitely get you a load of assists as well. And then on the ball, uh, 87 agility, 80 balance is actually pretty decent for a six foot tall player. Uh, he feels very fluid, very quick, uh, responsive on the ball. He also has the 97 uh, reaction. So not only on the ball, but off the ball uh, defensively. Uh, he'll be able to react to certain situations much better than other players. Uh, 95 ball control, 91 dribbling, and 94 composure. With the 4-star skills, he's very good in tight areas, uh, capable of maneuvering and escaping the defender, which of course is really important in the middle of the park. Uh, and then defensively, uh, you know, you could obviously use him as a CDM. I don't think that's his best position. I think as a, you know, box-to-box, -box, as a CM is definitely his best position, but... Uh, you know, he has some really good defensive stats. I thought the uh, interceptions, the ability to read the play, pick out passes was definitely his best set of defensive attributes. Uh, you know, very, just really annoying. Uh, you know, he's got the 92 interceptions, uh, 90 defensive awareness, and also, you know, very good, strong, uh, aggressive tackler. He's got the 90 stand tackle, uh, 86 slide tackle with the 92 aggression, uh, you know, so he'll feel much better defensively with the aggression being, you know, it's, it's a very important stat. Uh, 90 strength as well, so be able to hold off challenges and bully off the opposing midfielders uh, off the ball. Uh, 98 stamina is really good as well, with the high, high work rates is really important, so he will last uh, the full game. So overall, I mean, it is a brilliant card. The only thing maybe wrong with this card is the aerial ability, because he only has 70 jumping and 70 heading accuracy. Uh, but when it comes to everything else, I think this was a brilliant card. You know, there's not much uh, I can really complain. I thought he is definitely a top uh, end game card and one of the best options for your midfield so I would definitely recommend trying them out if you do get them untradeable or if you just want them for your weekend league team um, and yeah that's going to be my review so please like subscribe comment down below who you'd like to see next and thank you for watching